In this video, we're going to talk about migrations. And migrations is a way of storing your database schemas into a single file, into a PHP file. So you can then version control your database schema. And anytime you don't have to worry about exporting your database, the schema is already in your files. So you can run a command and all of your database schemas will be automatically added to your database. So let me give you an example. Do you remember back in the previous videos, we had created a few tables, which were customers and orders. And they were very simple tables. I think they had, yeah, just an ID and a name. And then we had orders with an ID, customer ID, and a name. So we just created these tables just manually, just by adding a new table and then calling customers. But what we can do is we can use migrations to create these tables for us. So I'm going to create a new database and I will just call this application two. And then I just created a new Laravel app at application two. And I'm going to open this up in a text editor. And I'm going to make sure that I update my .env file, which is where my database credentials will live. So I will change that to localhost and the database name is application two. And then the username and password in my case is just root and root. So now I will be able to connect to my database. And as you can see inside of our app, no, actually inside of our database and migrations, we already have two of these migrations in here. So we have a create users table and we have a create passwords table. So if we go into our application two and we run PHP artisan migrate, you can see that it runs those, those couple of files. And if I go back into my database, then sure enough, we have our users, password resets, and migrations. So this is essentially a migration. The database schema has been stored in these files, and we run a command, and then our tables are automatically inserted into our database. So let's go ahead and create our own migration. Let's say that we wanted to create our customer's migration. We can just run PHP artisan, make migration, and we could say create customers table. You can really call this anything you want but you might just want to give it a descriptive name so that you can remember. So I just went ahead and created that migration. So if I go back into my database migrations, I will see a new create customers table file. And what I'll want to do here is I will want to run a function called schema create. And inside I will want to say customers. So I want this table to be called customers. I want to automatically have this table that increments ID and I automatically want to have timestamps. So the last thing we will do is we need to add a string of name. So this is the name of the customer. And then down here in our down function, we can say schema drop. And whenever we run a migrate rollback, it will roll back this table. We'll, I'll show you in just a few seconds how this works. So if I say customers, and I can save this. Now if I go back to my terminal and I run PHP artisan migrate, it has just migrated that file. If I go back into my database and I refresh, we now have a customer's table that has ID, name, created at, and updated at fields. So this is essentially the same table that we created previously, but we created it using migrations instead of manually adding it to our database. So let me show you this rollback functionality. Let's say that we added a field to a database or something to, we made a change to our database and uh, something went wrong. So we need to roll back that change. What we could do is we could just then run our PHP artisan migrate rollback and it will roll back the previous migration. So now if I go back and I refresh, we do not have that customer's table. So that's just a quick example of how to use migrations and when you might want to use them which should be most of the time because now you can store all of your database schemas inside of a file that you can then store on a version control. So I would recommend checking out the Laravel documentation under migrations to learn more about this and we will see you in the next video.